Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today we're going to make some really pretty baby cards and I'm going to take you from start to finish on making these cards for yourself. So what we're going to use are these um, cute and cuddly, mini cute and cuddly stamps from um, Clearly Besotted. And these are the images that they will stamp. So you've got four different things and when they're coloured up you can make them look really pretty. Now I like to stamp two to each piece of watercolour card so that I know I've got enough room in which to cut them both out and add them to um, a backing piece. Now this is watercolour card um, but it's smooth on one side and it's rough on the other. And I like to use the smooth side so that we get a nice finish. So I've stamped these two images out because these are the ones that I want to use. And I need a waterproof ink to do it with. So I've used Versafine and then I've clear embossed it so that this edge around the card is slightly raised. So to watercolour the images I'm using the Gansai Tambi watercolours and on the lid is, on the inside of the lid is a chart and I've colour matched all these numbers with all these colours so that by looking at this lid I know the colours that I want to use. So I'm going to use number 61 and number 64 which are there. And then I'm going to use the, the pink one at the top, which is 35, and the darker red one, which is 34. So I need those two colours to create my, um, my little cards. So I'm going to do one in pink and one in blue. So we can move these out of the way. Now I've got a little pan that I've already used some of the colours in, but if you leave them in your... Um, in your little water pan you can reconstitute them again with some water so don't wash them away you can always use them again so I've got a tissue there underneath my water I've got some water in the pan and this is my little image that I'm going to colour now this is a really fine brush it's a sable hair number two brush and this is the one that I use more than any other when I'm doing water colouring so let's make a start on these images. So I've got two water pans. One is going to get really dirty with the water, but when I need to pick up some clean water, I can go into the other dish. So with some clean water to start with, I'm just going to put some water down into the, the elephant's head and his ears. Okay, so we'll start off with the blue for the elephant. So I'm picking up some clean water and I'm taking some of the paint from the pan and I'm going to put it into my little mixing um, tray. So I need to just dry off that brush a little bit and then we can come in with the blue into the, the elephant. So I'm just going all over it with one colour. And I'll pick up a bit more blue. Now we can just leave that to dry a little bit before we go back and put some shadows in. So we'll now wet the, the bodywork and the feet. And we'll come down further down the elephant. Now the reason you're doing it in little bits like this is because it, the watercolour card will obviously dry out and you need it wet so that you can apply your paint to the elephant or to the, the figure that you're colouring. So we've just got the base layer in for now. Now before I go any further with that, I'm going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun and just dry that off. 
So the reason you're drying this off is to stop this colour from reacting with the water and then you can go in and add your shadows. So I'm going to pick some of my blue up, my darker blue, and I'm going to pop it into my pan with some more water and we'll take the excess water off. So now I can come in and add in some shading. So I'm going around the ears. I'll just pick a bit, bit more colour and we'll come down the side of the face and along the bottom of the trunk and down the other side of the ear. So now I'm getting the colour off my brush and I'm just leaving a damp brush because what I need to do now is spread this colour out into the ears. So it's going from the darker blue out to the paler blue and it's just creating some shape in your elephant's ears and the trunk. So I'm just spreading that around. Again, so we'll leave that alone for now and we'll come back to the darker blue and we'll put some shadow in under the trunk and down the side of the body and along the inside of the legs. And again, we'll clean the brush off. We'll just have it damp and we'll just spread this colour out. So I'm just going to put some shading into the feet. So we'll just do that along the bottom edge and we'll clean the brush off, get rid of the excess water and spread that around. Just blend that out to get rid of that harsh line. And that's basically all there is to it. There's nothing to be afraid of with watercolouring because let's face it if you don't like it you can always start again it's only a bit of card now that's a little bit too dark so I'm just going to dab that off with my um, tissue and we'll just blend that out again okay so I'm just going to put a little bit more shadow along this body part And then we'll leave that alone and let that dry. And we'll move on to the little pink bear. Now if you look, the, the water in the right hand pan is getting dirty. So I can clean my brush off in the dirty water. And then to change my colours, I'm going into the colours, the, the pan on the right, which has the clean water in it. So this is my very pale pink which I'm going to use here. So with some clean water now, I'm just going to go over the, the bear. And you need a nice fine brush to be able to get into all the little bits on the bear. So I've wet all of it now because it's not a very big image so it will stay quite wet and we'll start to add the colour. So I'm just putting in my base just picking up little bits of colour from the pan as I've mixed because I've mixed that with a lot of water. And then once this is done, this is just the base layer, I need to give it a quick blast with my heat gun just to dry it off and then I can add the shadows. So with the darker red now I'm going to mix up some colour in my palette, make sure it's got plenty of water in it. And to take the excess water off I'm just coming down to the bottom of the brush 
you can see it's taking the water off so now we can add some shadow to this little bear so we'll come down to the bottom of her ears and her around the face and we'll put some shadow under the chin and along the body line So all I'm doing here really is repeating the same process that I did with the elephant. I'm putting in the shadows and then with some clean water and just a damp brush I'm spreading the shadows out to blend in with the rest of the bear. So once we get a nice mix of the colours and we've blended out those harsh lines it looks much better so I'm going to go across the tummy and just blend out that line there and that just fades out the the shadow into the paler area in the middle of the tummy Now with this little bear I've added some darker pink onto the feet and the hands and just inside the ears but at the moment she looks as if she's floating in mid-air. So with some clean water I'm just wetting the area around the bottom of the bear taking care not to touch the pink because I don't want it to run and then I thought we would add some green in just to look like some grass. So I'm just very carefully putting it around the bear's feet and if it gets too dark I can always dab some of this colour off with a tissue but that just gives the appearance of her sitting on some grass so I'm just going to dab the colour out a little bit and then spread it around some more I'm just going to take a little bit more green and just put some darker shadow directly under the feet and the hands because that's where her body would be creating the shadow on the grass and we'll spread that out a little bit more and by using the the tissue that just creates some texture in the grass Now once you've got your creature sitting on something you must make sure that it's dry and I'm taking here a Sakura Jelly Roll pen and I'm going to put some pattern onto these animals. So I'm going to make sure that the actual pen is flowing so just test it on a little piece of scrap paper and these two have already been patterned. This one's got large spots, this one's got some checks on it. So let's have a go and do the other two and make them pretty. So taking the, the jelly roll pen just very slowly go over the part that you want to to colour and it, it is a very faint line but it is noticeable it is there. So add in the stripes as you want them and make a really nice effect on the bear. You can make them as wide as you want or as narrow as you want but they do make a difference. So there we've got the stripy bear done and on the elephant all I'm doing is just adding in small polka dots. So there I've got my two images now matted onto some scalloped um, card. I've created my base cards. I've lined the inside of both of them and then I've created some mats and layers to go on the top. There's the two mats that will sit on the front of the cards. And I'll work on the mats first. So we'll move the, the base card out of the way. I've created a smaller mat and layer here that's going to be glued together. And that will sit on the front of the, the, boy, the little baby boy card. 
I'm adding in some lace and I've got some really pretty baby feet ribbon and then I'll add the topper over the, the lace and the ribbon and pop in the bow along the side. Then for the little girl card I've created another mat and layer using the scallop dies and I'm going to add that just off centre on the front of the card. Add in my lace and my ribbon and then I can pop the, the topper on and I'm going to add these toppers with some foam pads just to give a little bit more depth and there again is another ribbon tied into a bow and the front of the cards will be complete. So there's my two cards basically made. I'm going to add some finery in to make them a little bit more pretty. So on the pink one I'm going to add in some flowers. So I've got some pink roses and some rosebuds for the top. And then on the blue one I'm going to add in some baby feet. But obviously these baby feet don't match the card. I'm going to add them along there but let me show you how to make those match the card. So with some dark blue paint from the same paint palette I'm just going to paint over the little wooden feet. Make sure you do them the opposite way around otherwise you'll have two right feet or two left feet. Now you must make sure that those are dry before you go on to the next bit. So once your foot's dry just push it into some Versamark and then you're going to cover it with some clear embossing powder. And then once you've done that you're just going to dry it off or heat set it with your heat gun. And while it's hot, tip it back into your embossing powder. And then you're going to heat set that again. And that's all there is to it. There you have a couple of nice little feet to add to your baby card. So I'm just going to glue them in place and I'm going to use a hot glue gun to pop them in place. So I'll add all the links to the description box underneath the, the video. And there you've got two beautiful cards. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed what I've done, please give it the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss the videos that will be coming out regularly. Bye for now.